not the worst of it by any means. It looks as though the expenditure in 67, inclusive of phase 2A, which is this recent addition that it like itself, is, uh, would be on the order of $61 billion. Now that's much higher than any estimate you've seen before. And finally, and not particularly related to these budget figures, uh, I am more and more convinced that we ought definitely to think of some action other than military action as the only program here. I personally believe we should go ahead and raise our budgets, raise our strength, increase our deployments out there to gradually meet West Orleans requirements. But I think if we do that by itself, it's suicide, and we ought definitely to accompany it, or even perhaps precede it, by some other action. I just wanted you to have these views. I think we're going to have to go up to the Congress for a uh, further commitment on their part. Uh, Without question. And uh, I just don't know. Uh, looks like to me you're going to have a complete wartime economy with these kind of estimates. I don't think that follows, Mr. President. I think that's a problem, something we need to worry about. But that's the least important and least difficult aspect of this situation, in my opinion. I think going up to Congress to get some kind of a commitment is, is very difficult. I think pushing out 300,000, 400,000 Americans out there without being able to guarantee what it will lead to is a terrible risk and a terrible problem. I think accompanying it with some kind of political program, a pause or what have you, is, is very, very complex. I think the problem with the economy is something we want to watch, but it's not nearly as troublesome as these other matters. Uh, are these figures final in your judgment? No, they aren't, Mr. President. And, and we're just going night day here trying to clean this up. Another seven days, we'll probably have it. But they're not going to change enough to to affect your judgment of the problem. Uh, we might possibly get a billion or billion and a half out of these expenditures do everything we can to do it. And, and when we get all through, we can screw them around with some manipulation that'll take a little out. What uh, did you have uh, this year in the regular budget exclusive of your supplemental? Well, in terms of expenditures, it was on the order of uh, 50.5 billion. That may not be quite right, but it was pretty close. 50.5 billion of, of uh, expenditures. New obligation authority was 48.6 billion. And it's to that new obligation authority of 48.6. Congress gave us all but a half a billion of, they therefore gave us 48.1. So we added 1.7 in August, and we would add about 11 billion in January. So uh, you figure next year roughly that you have a about as much expenditures as you had new obligation that's to the that's, that's right, Mr. President. That's exactly right. And roughly it's uh, ten and a half billion more in expenditures in 67 and 66. Well, the, 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 the initial estimate for 66 was 50.5 approximately. Supplements rise about three billion. We think, say, 53 and a half, maybe 54 billion. So the actual will be above that initial estimate by three or four billion. And then 1967 would be another six or seven billion above that, for a total of about 10, 10 and a half billion above the original estimate for 66. When do you think we should uh, start our talking about money? Well, that's your convenience. The sooner the better from our point of view. Monday's fine. Is there anything we ought to be doing before then? No, I, I don't think it makes much difference, Mr. President, why we do it uh, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. I think it is very important when we do it that we have a, enough time to turn all this over in our minds. There are a lot of risks associated with anything you do. I don't think that Dean and I, for example, uh, have uh, perhaps come to agreement on a program. I don't think
think that uh, we can see very clearly the outcome of some of these courses of action. And we ought to have enough time with you so we can tell you our thoughts on them and you can probe us and, and uh, explore fully some of these very dangerous alternatives that we can't even put in writing around here. We certainly don't want to talk to anybody else about it. But if we could have time on Monday to do that, I think Monday's fine. Okay, I'll be getting back in touch with you. Thank you.